Hey y'all. I am working on my Steampunk Blues journal again. And my son came in. Oh, I lost uh, some beads. No big deal. I'll fix them. I still haven't tied these yet. I'll get there. Um, so anyway, he said, Mom, you're doing this journal. I have these steampunk stuff. Go through it and pick out what you want. So these are stickers. Um, I know he's been ordering stuff off of Timu, so I think that's where these came from. And I could cut these roses off um, and use just the gears, which I may do somewhere else in here, but I don't want to use it for this. These were kind of cool. I really like this one with the key. But look at the colors. They match. So, I'm at least going to be using this one. And this is what I'm going to be using this one for. Remember I said down here I felt like I needed something just to use as a catch or to weigh this down. Well, I had some large keys. And I thought maybe I would use a key. Um... But that was before he came in with these. So, I'm going to use these. And I just have a little piece of scrap card. And these are stickers. And, uh, guys, please excuse the nails. I've been... I wish I could say I did this doing something awesome, but no. <laughs> We've been... gathering up scrap metal we're doing property cleanup anyway we're about three loads in of just stuff that's piled up over the years um, so we're moving a bunch of metal and just old grungy stuff and so it's kind of tearing up it's kind of tearing up my hands anyway so this is a sticker. I, would, I, would, I needed it thicker. Um, and in fact, I almost think, yep, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to double it. So I'm just going to glue this together because I need it to be super sturdy. Oh, wrong glue. I haven't opened that one yet. I just need to need to get it opened up. Now because I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this because I want to do both sides, right? So I'm gonna cut this sticker in half, and then I'm gonna fussy cut a little bit of the white space out around it. Okay, I'll cut out. And it's a little bit white, a little bit too bright compared to the rest of the journal. So, um, this is Antique Linen Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. What is it, buddy? My puppy is not happy this evening. I'm not paying enough attention to him. Do you want to go see the kids? Is that what's wrong? Okay, just a sec. Oops. That's just a good example of how my week's been, go been going this week. Um, just lots of happenings. Oh, happy Veterans Day to everyone out there. And thank you to all our veterans and servicemen and women. We appreciate you guys and gals. We know you sacrifice a lot and your families sacrifice a lot um, to have the careers that you have and the positions that you hold throughout the world. We do appreciate, even though we're not always super vocal about it 
This clock's gonna drive me crazy, right? Let's see, okay. Where to put my glue and I want to glue the whole thing down I guess I could cut this in half first I don't want to glue the whole thing down I just want to glue it's not gonna make sense unless I cut it okay see I want this here and I want the top open so that I can slip this into it so I just want to put a bead of glue across the bottom here. Okay. This needs to dry really well before you start slipping things in or it's gonna cause the piece to lift and then it won't hold as well. also why I wanted it so thick um, so that the top wasn't flexy flexible where it would hold well center ish I think driving me crazy. Oh, I did find, um, somebody sent me in a swap this cute little clothespin and I just put it on there. It also looks cute up here if you wanted to uh, pin something to it. Like that. Stinking cute. So thank you. I don't know who sent this to me. It was an it's been a couple years. <laughs> I've been trying to get my swap stuff out and start using it. Anyway, that was that. And I have some other pieces that I haven't used um, here that I will be making some notebooks with, some scraps and things like that. Okay, so I have pulled both of the notebooks out of my steampunk project because I have pieces left. And so I thought, um, okay, let's do some pockets and um, do the index cards or file folder cards. These are actually index cards. Although you could put them together and make little mini file folders um, but I'm gonna back this again paper bag brown paper bag I'm gonna back this onto here and cut it out like I did like I did this one 
Wow. My puppy is really stressed out this evening. Okay, and then I have off cuts. Um, these are off cuts from the larger pages that I cut down. And so they're just scraps. So I have these. Um, I separated in two and two and just cut um, the edges off where it was white. So I have two and two of those. And then I have two of the tabs from the kit that I'm gonna use. Okay, so, and also have this big piece of paper bag left. So what I want to do is I'm going to add, pop it to the inside of each of one of these. And add one of these. And then these I'm going to turn into little notebooks with tabs. Yep and also slide them in, into the pockets. Okay, let me try again. All right, so now these are, two and a quarter inches, so I want two, two pieces, let's see. It might be easier if I cut this off first. Sir, you need to go lay down, buddy. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ta -da. What did I say? I already forgot. Two and four. see if I can finish this video. So I went ahead and made this one because my camera cut out uh, while I was making it. So I'll show you. So what I ended up doing was I cut that paper bag down to these long strips and then I folded them in half and um, cut them down a little bit. And I haven't cut this down yet. So that they would fit better in the pockets. And they wouldn't stick out of the top of the notebook. These little notepads. So, just going to this one, this one, and this one. And I am gonna staple these together. Now I'm gonna put this here, and then I want this to be able to open up. Boy, I did a horrible job of cutting that, didn't I? That's better. All right. So I'm gonna open this up to the center, and I already know that I need to There's another way to do this, but this is the way I do it. I just roll my paper up in here and staple it. Now these I'm stapling different than the last ones that I did because I'm gonna cover this up. So I decided to put the flat edges on the inside this time. Okay. Now here's the other thing. When I glue this tab to the top, I only want to glue along the edge that's actually going to be touching the paper. I don't want to glue this inside section because I want this entire thing to be able to flip out. And if I glue the whole thing down, instead of it flipping completely open, I'll actually have to like crease it. So. I 
I'll just put glue here. Oops. Line it up. Okay. Leave this section unglued. Glue this part. the center. Okay. So this will now slide into here. And I'm going to put a card in here. And we'll do the same thing in the other notebook. Thanks for watching guys. I will link all the information below for this kit and um, there are several videos that I have put out working on this project so if you would like to go think. over and check those out they are on my YouTube page and also my TikTok. I'll just finish these up.